This is First Person with Rob Teplitz. Hello and welcome to First Person. First Person is all about the who, what, when, where, why, and how. We ask a random question, and then we let each person have the last word. This is First Person. Uh, I'm Rob Teplitz. I'm the Democratic candidate for the State Senate for Dauphin and York Counties. Lifelong Central Pennsylvanian, grew up in this area. My wife and I are raising our kids now in Susquehanna Township. Uh, we live there, we've been there for about the last eight years. I grew up in Lower Paxton Township. And I've spent most of my career working alongside Bob Casey and now Jack Wagner uh, at the Department of the Auditor General, trying to fight for taxpayers and families, make sure government works well, and that it spends your money wisely. I'm running for the State Senate. Um, the reason I'm doing that, not for the title. The title is uh, something that doesn't really interest me. I want to be on a first name basis with everyone, as I have been my whole life. But I'm running so I can take my skills and my experience to the Capitol to fight for this community. Well, I'm a lawyer by training. I started out in private practice. Uh, but after a few years of that, I had the opportunity to go work for Bob Casey at the Department of the Auditor General. And I'm proud that I've worked my way up and I'm now the top lawyer and policy advisor there and spend my time working to fight for families and taxpayers, making sure government programs work well, um, that they're effective, and that people's hard-earned tax dollars are used wisely and money isn't wasted um, or stolen. Uh, we want to make sure that uh, the system works for people. I grew up here, went away uh, to Franklin and Marshall College in Lancaster, um, then went away for law school to Cornell Law School in New York. I came right back here because I grew up here and I really love this area. It's the only place I've ever wanted to live. Um, so I practiced law. Um, I was a litigator, a uh, commercial litigator, which means that um, I handled large-scale disputes between businesses. Um, it was great work, had a lot of big local clients in the area, but I've always had a passion for public service and service for my community, and I'm thankful that I've had the opportunity to do that, and I'd like to continue. I want to use the skills and the experience that I've uh, been fortunate to gain for the benefit of my own community. Um, I've worked on issues statewide and had some good results statewide, but now I want to fight for my community, the people of Dauphin and York counties, and really fight for them in a way in the capital uh, that they haven't uh, had before. It'll really represent them well, serve them well, um, bring issues to the table for them, um, especially here in the city of Harrisburg, which has not been represented well in the state senate uh, at a very critical time. Uh, I think I'm the person to do that. Something I've always wanted to do uh, since I was a child um, and I'm very glad I did because uh, I'm kind of a non-traditional lawyer. Um, I help run a large state agency and I directly supervise the lawyers but I do a lot more than that. And the law degree has always been very helpful to me in terms of learning how to think through issues, how to analyze issues, how to write well. And I'm very glad I got that degree, um, and I'd recommend it to anyone, whether you want to practice law in the traditional sense or not. You know, it's not a matter for me of wanting to run. I just want to serve. And I've had a great opportunity uh, for most of my career to work with two excellent public servants, Jack Wagner and Bob Casey. And I see my run for the state senate as just an extension of uh, being able to serve. Um, you know, the, the title, you know, the perks, all that, you know, doesn't mean anything to me. And in fact, I introduced uh, a whole government reform plan that would eliminate the perks and try to bring uh, the capital and what goes on in there 
more into line with what the public expects of us. Um, it's not about the title, it's not about the office. For me, it's an opportunity where I think I've got a unique set of skills and experience of having looked at state government for a long time, uh, promoted reform, promoted openness, transparency, fiscal responsibility, and want to bring that to bear for my friends and neighbors in Dauphin and York counties. <laughs> um, they were very supportive. Uh, my, my wife um, has known uh, that, I'm, uh, that I've always had an interest in service. Um, uh, she's very active in this community as well. Um, as a family, we're very involved. Uh, my wife started the YWCA's legal clinic for victims of domestic violence and ran it on Walnut Street for almost 10 years uh, before she moved into teaching full time. Uh, we're both active in various charitable organizations in our community and we're trying to raise our two kids with that same kind of sense of obligation um, that if you live in a community uh, and you're, you're fortunate, uh, you should give back. And so um, that's just part of uh, uh, how we are as a family and uh, we're, we're all 100% behind it. This is the Senate seat that Senator Jeff Bacola serves now. So it's most of Dauphin County. If you live in the Harrisburg area, this is probably the Senate seat that represents you. Most of Dauphin County, from Halifax all the way south to the border of Dauphin and York, and then very northern York County. Just five or six uh, municipalities in northern York County. Uh, that's the whole district, 250,000 residents. It's an open seat because Senator Pecola is retiring this year, and we've got a great chance, the Democratic Party, uh, to take this seat for the first time in about 80 years. Um, that's not why I'm running to just represent Democrats, but I say that because uh, if you're not happy with how you've been represented, whether you're Democrat, Republican, Independent, some other party, or not registered of any party, um, this is an opportunity to bring change, a new style of leadership, but leadership that has the experience that we need. Uh, I grew up in Lower Paxton Township, um, went to Central Dauphin High School, uh, go Rams, uh, and then went away for college and law school, but only ever wanted to come back and, and live here and practice law here and raise my family here. Uh, it was a fantastic place to grow up. Um, I'm, I'm unapologetic about uh, how much I love this area and uh, it was where my, my wife and I wanted to raise our kids because we're at a very critical time. And frankly, the answer depends on who we elect to represent us. Um, I'm running so that I can focus on a couple of key issues. Creating jobs, strengthening our schools, keeping taxes as low as possible, and government reform, ending politics as usual in Harrisburg. If enough people with that commitment get elected, we can do some great things. But if we continue to keep re-electing uh, the same uh, old guard or the same type of old guard, then we're not going to make any progress as a commonwealth and we won't be able to move forward. I think it's very simple. Um, we have some serious challenges in this state and I have the experience to work with those challenges. Um, that's how I've spent my career, making sure government works well, that the programs and services that the public needs work as well as possible. I've identified a lot of places where they're not working and we fix them. And also to make sure that your tax dollars are being used wisely, they're not being wasted. The, that's the kind of experience that we need in Harrisburg. Um, I'm the only candidate who's fought for reform at all levels of government. And that's why one of the first things that I think we need to do is end politics as usual. I have a whole government reform agenda that I've proposed, um, and that's what I'll be working on first. And the reason for that is because the system is broken. And the only way we can make real progress on important issues like jobs, schools, infrastructure, is to fix the process. Um, so that's what we need to do. We need to make sure that legislators 
um, don't get these outrageous perks, um, that they don't have middle of the night votes or secret votes. Um, we need to make sure that we have campaign finance reform, lobbying reform, stronger open records and open meetings laws. We need to make sure that independent voters, registered independents, have the ability to vote in primaries um, and that third party candidates have the ability to get on the ballot. We have to open up the process, the process make registering to vote and casting your vote easier. All of that serves to make Pennsylvania much better in how our system works so that we can get better results. And I'm the only candidate who's done that for my entire career. I'm the only candidate with a government reform plan and the experience to implement that plan. And so that's why I humbly ask people uh, to support me on election day. Because I've spent my career as a staff guy um, with my sleeves rolled up, just trying to work hard, identify problems, and fix them. Um, I've never been elected, I've never run for an elected office, uh, I've never served in an elected office, I've never run or served in any kind of a political office. Uh, you know, frankly, unlike my opponent. And I'm a person who has spent my career working in an independent, bipartisan way to be constructive and to be part of the solution, not part of the problem. I, I have experience in these issues, and so I'll be able to look at every issue with a level of experience. I have a lot of answers, but I don't claim to have every answer, but I know the right questions to ask, and I know the resources of where to go to get honest answers to those questions. Uh, my opponent, quite honestly, um, he's been a party guy. He ran the Republican machine in Dauphin County for the last five years um, and has spent his, his career in this realm just trying to get Republicans elected to office. Now there's nothing wrong with that, nothing wrong with it at all, but that's not the type of experience you want if you are looking for someone who's going to vote independently and always look out for the best interests of the community rather than what the party wants. Uh, I'm going to be independent. Um, there are things that my party, the Democratic Party, isn't going to like. Um, one of the elements on my government reform plan is to do an independent audit of the legislative slush fund, uh, the hundreds of millions of dollars that led to bo bonus gate, which we've read about. That's not necessarily going to be a popular position, um, even among my own caucus, my colleagues in the Democratic caucus in the Senate. But I think it's important. And that's what I'm about, fighting for real progress on issues and trying to make sure that the only uh, people that I'm listening to are the voters. And I'm the only candidate who can say that I've done that in my career. Well, um, many different ways. We've got a website. It's www.robteplitz, R-O-B-T-E-P-L-I-T-Z.com. Uh, we're on Twitter, at Rob Teplitz. We're on Facebook, uh, Rob Teplitz for State Senate. We have a campaign office on Walnut Street. We wanted to be in the city. We're the big yellow building next to Strawberry Square, 409 Walnut Street. You can stop in any time. Uh, you can call our office. 717-232-6500 and talk with one of our staff people. We welcome uh, people who want to get involved. Um, this is a very winnable race uh, if you're interested in the kinds of things that I've been talking about. But it requires people getting involved, helping us contact voters. The more voters that we can contact makes victory uh, more and more likely. And we're out knocking doors all the time, we're making phone calls all the time, we're raising money. Um, so if you're interested in helping with any of that, please contact us. Um, the last thing that I'll mention, if you are out uh, and you're going to support the president this year in re-election, as I am, the best way to help your local candidates and an easy way where you don't have to necessarily worry whose district am I in is to vote straight ticket. Um, vote straight ticket Democrat. Uh, that way you push two buttons, Democrat and vote, it helps the president, but also all of us local candidates. Uh, and you know, we have a greater impact on your life in many ways than the president ever will. We've got a great opportunity, we have a strong Democratic ticket. 
uh, from Senator Bob Casey to the candidates for Auditor General, Attorney General, and Treasurer, to local candidates like me who are running for the State Senate. We've got candidates for the State House. And you may not necessarily have the time to research or learn about all of us, and that's understandable. But if you generally like uh, what the Democratic Party stands for, and you want to support the president uh, and support local Democratic candidates, vote straight ticket. That helps all of us. Don't just go into the voting booth, vote for the president and leave. Help all of us so that we can get into office and help you. Here is the random question. Are you okay. ready? Yep. Let me focus first just to make sure. Yeah, it looks great. So, Rob, if there's one person, actually it's a two-parter question. Okay. If there's one person you would want to emulate your career after on the Senate, who would it be? And if there's someone who you would not want to emulate your career in the Senate, who would it be? Well, I've had the opportunity to work for two great public servants. Uh, Bob Casey, who is now our U.S. Senator, and Jack Wagner, who is finishing up his second term as Auditor General. And working with them taught me about uh, how to put people first when you fight for issues, to always keep in mind that there are real people involved, um, that behind every number that we deal with is a family or a taxpayer. And I just want to continue uh, following that model. Um, that's why I'm doing this. That's why I'm running, to fight for my friends and neighbors in Dauphin and York counties. Uh, who would I not want to emulate? I think we've seen over the last five or six years uh, what's happened when uh, elected officials allow themselves to be corrupted by their office. Um, that's why I, I issued a government reform plan. Um, I have that on my website along with our other plans for education, for low taxes, and for creating jobs. But I issued that one first because I think it's so important um, that we fix the process, end politics as usual. Uh, I'm determined to only look out for what's in the best interest of my friends and neighbors. And I'm determined uh, not to change at all in the process. Um, I'm just Rob, that's all who I've ever been. Uh, that's all who I ever want to be. Um, I, I always tell people, even now, who jokingly call me senator, um, tell them, don't even call me that after the election. I appreciate uh, the vote of confidence, um, and after the election, I'll appreciate the respect, but I don't want the title. It's not about the title. It's about trying to get in there and do the right thing. And for me, personally, just staying grounded and, and being who I am, um, just a, a guy who grew up here and wants to help this community. Uh, so um, that's what I'm all about, and, and that's why I'm doing this. Thanks. Uh, I appreciate the interview. This has been really enjoyable. You know, I, I guess what I what I want to say is this is such an important election. Um, we have what I think is an easy choice, but there's a choice um, whether we continue with the progress that we've made as a country, or whether we go back um, to the same people who created a lot of the problems in the first place. And, and the same thing could be said locally. You know, I'm running because we need new leadership but leadership with experience to deal with the problems that we confront as a state. How to create jobs, how to strengthen our schools, how to reform our government, and how to keep our taxes as low as possible. And that's why I'm running. Um, I'm running to be able to do that, but in order to get there, I need your support. We all talk about wanting to get good people elected into government. Um, I'm offering myself as one of those people. And if you agree with what I've been saying, we can use your help. You know, please contact us at our office, uh, through email, through our website, uh, but get involved. But definitely, no matter what, don't forget to vote on November 6th. Make sure your voice is heard. Um, whether you vote for me or whether you vote for someone else, just make sure you vote, um, because that's just so important. And you know, with that, I, I thank you for, uh, for your consideration. If my kids are watching, uh, because uh, 
we try to keep them involved and show them what daddy's doing. Uh, hi Ben, hi Adam. Um, they've been uh, in our TV commercials, so uh, they're TV stars in their own right, but uh, now it's dad's turn. And Randy, um, thank you for putting up with all of this and I appreciate your support. <laughs>